occurring. More, more people are being entrepreneurs, but not so with the millennials. So maybe, maybe again, going back to, uh, to policy and to education, uh, is, is it time in education and also time for policymakers to take a look at, at where, you know, where do we want to go and then what kinds of things do we do to get there? I, th- you know, I, something uh, someone said to me, and, and this was, uh, and, and, and I have a habit of going back well. When I graduated from college, we didn't have anything. Had to go back and I uh, began a 25 year uh, love affair with graduate school. I, I was constantly <laughs> getting new degrees. And, you know, I, the list of them expanded depending on what I was doing at the time, right? But the. What was said to me was, well, just to survive today, you have to have the cell phone. You have to have a car. You ha- the, the old idea that you could get an apartment and rely on public transportation and go down to the payphone when you wanted to make a few phone, you, you can't survive. And these things all have costs. And so the costs in those terms are so much higher. I don't really know what to make of that. I, I, uh, uh, I, I don't think we'd all want to go back and give up our smartphones and give up our, our cars. But at the same time, uh, maybe, maybe the time frame, the culture we lived in was easier on us at, at that age. So if, if that is in fact true, then like a lot of uh, uh, problems and issues and uh, challenges. Uh, maybe it's time for a hard look at uh, at how to how to get to where we want to be. Is uh, full employment at a job that is rewarding and makes plenty of money for everybody? Is that a is that a goal in this economy? Well, then how do we get there? How, is having mm-hmm. more entrepreneurs a goal? How do we get there? I, I know. Uh, Previous uh, governments have mm-hmm. set uh, real uh, uh, goals and uh, uh, visions, and then we seem to find ways to attain those. So maybe that's where we are now.